Hello, people. Welcome to Illo Talk. I am Corey Kerr, and this is a panel from an upcoming page that I haven't released yet of Rage of Enlightenment, my comic that is available for free at coreykerr.com slash comic. Now, I drew this whole thing in Photoshop, except for the part that I couldn't, because Photoshop is just way behind the times when it comes to illustration. Their glaring lack of basic drawing tools like rulers, their grids, their perspective grids are a freaking nightmare to work with, and they don't even do the things that basic ones do that you would get in Procreate or other types of things. Parallel rulers, concentric ellipses, which brings me to Krita. Now Krita has all kinds of different things that just blow it out of the water, and it's free. This free open source software that works on Linux, Windows, and Mac. It's got a decent UI that doesn't feel like it was built by a bunch of coders who have never met another human in real life or seen the light of day. In fact, it looks very similar to a lot of other professional drawing programs. And a lot of the keystrokes are the same as Photoshop. And it comes with a bunch of killer brushes here. So you can, you can jump over, you can see all of these brushes, quite a few of them are pretty decent. You can animate in it. It opens, reads, and writes to PSD files, something that Fresco, Adobe's own iPad app, struggles with. Though there's a bit of a corruption issue that I was having when I was trying to save it as a PSD and then open it back up in, in Photoshop, which was fine. I just exported it as a TIFF and it was great. All that, and it has all of the drawing aids that Photoshop lacks. So I'm gonna just show you a couple of those drawing aids and then I'll do a little time lapse of me using them to make these speed lines and let's go from there. So you can come over here, you've got this assistant tool here. If you click on that tool, then you got this list. And so two point perspective, click, click, right? You can increase or decrease kind of where that type of thing is, right? And then when you switch over to your brush, every line that you've got, let me just change this so that we can see what's going on. Every line that you draw is going to be locked to one of those things. Photoshop does not do it, drives me nuts, but I do like a lot of these different things. So I'm going to come in here. Let's, let's kind of delete that grid. Concentric ellipse is awesome change to blue for this. And so I'm gonna go into concentric ellipse and you click and then you click, right? And so that's gonna give you a minor and major axis. Everything that you draw gets locked to that. But here's the cool part. Without having to change the tool, it's gonna to give you concentric circles or concentric ellipses that just continue to be locked to that, that perspective that you've got. Very, very useful. This is one of the most basic things that Photoshop should do and it just doesn't do it, Krita does it really well. Again, open source and free on Mac, Linux, and Windows. Parallel Ruler is absolutely great for panel borders. Okay, so I figure out horizontal panel borders, then I click, I hold shift, locks it into horizontal, right? And then I can just come in with my brush and I can draw and I can draw, I can draw, I can draw, I can draw, I can draw. Everything is gonna be locked in to that horizontal. So I can come in like this, and let's say that I wanna do some speed lines or something, then I can come in, once I have this, I'm gonna to switch to my brush, and I can just really quickly kind of draw in speed lines. They're all gonna be parallel. I don't have to pick up the ruler and reset it each time. And the brushes, you can turn them into erasers as well. So you can come in and kind of like knock some of these back if they're, if they're too heavy. And so instead of using an eraser, you just use the brush to erase. Pretty awesome there as well. The one that you're gonna see me do is a vanishing point. And so come in here like this, switch back over to here. We'll just kind of go in here like this. And every line that I draw is gonna come from or go towards that single vanishing point. Here is the time lapse of me kind of doing that. I'm really excited about this panel. So if you guys wanna see this and see it in action, um, go to coreykerr.com slash rage for Rage of Enlightenment. And this is a panel that I'm kind of working on. And you can see I had to switch back and forth between two programs to get uh, kind of the speed lines that, I'm, that I wanted here. But I think this panel turned out really well. So pretty excited about it. And I'm going to do a little breakdown on Substack with the roughs and the pencils and the inks and the flat colors and then the textured colors. Um, so you can check that out, uh, at my Substack, which is coreykerr.com slash email. Um, anyway, and yeah, that Substack is actually pretty good. And if you subscribe, 
then you don't let the billionaires decide whether you see something or not. Uh, it'll just go to your email inbox or go to your Substack app and you have total control. Subscribe or unsubscribe. Um, you can kind of control all that stuff. So make sure to check that out. Um, not doing much on Instagram or other types of things anymore just because I am sick of all of their crap. And the comic Rage of Enlightenment is kind of about that. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Uh, check out Krita if you're looking for a really cool free drawing app that I'll be learning more and more. And uh, like and subscribe and all that jazz. And we will catch you guys later. Go make stuff.